Hello everyone, my name is Irina and today I'm going to show you how to export a video from Dust Studio to Style 3D. This tutorial is short and simple, only focusing on the main steps. So let's begin. First, let's open up Dust Studio. The initial step involves adding our avatar or figure. For this tutorial, we'll be using the Genesis 8.1 female. Navigate to Smart Content under Dust Studio Formats and then head to Figures. Double-click on the Genesis 8.1 female to add her to the scene. Once you've added your figure, it's time to animate. We'll be using the Animate 2 plugin for this purpose. Animate 2, along with a variety of different animations, can be purchased from the Dust Studio Store. Moving on to Animate 2. We start by adding an empty block to our timeline. Click on Add Empty Block and in the pop-up window select No Properties. We need this as a more for our animation. Then in Smart Content open Animations. Does provide some free options, but you can always purchase more from the store. For this example we are going to use Spot Body Morphs a walking-in-place animation with realistic body movements. You can drag the side of the block to extend the length of the animation. Once you are satisfied with your animation, it's time to bake to Studio keyframes. The section creates keyframes on our timeline that represents our animation. To bake the animation, right-click on the empty space below our blocks and select Bake to Studio keyframes. You'll see that we now have keyframes in our timeline. Having baked our animation, we are ready to export it as an FBX file. Navigate to File Export and choose the FBX format in the Save as Type down drop. This format retains your rigging and anim animation data and is compatible with the Style 3D. Now switching to Style 3D and importing an FBX file that we just created. When the FBX file is imported, we go to the Animation Editor. You can see that uh, we have our timeline, but there are no keyframes. The animation is not working. We need to edit by clicking Move Skeleton Animation. We also can untick creating animation transition because we already created it in DAS. So here animation is added and you can see that everything is working. Next, we'll create a garment. For this tutorial, I'm going to make a simple dress.
With our dress now ready, it's time to run the simulation. Let's go back to Animation Editor and hit Record. Be prepared to wait a little while as the simulation process can take some time. Once the simulation is complete, please note that we won't be able to make further ad adjustments to the shape or form of the dress. However, we still have the ability to alter textures and colors. This gives us continued flexibility to fine-tune our animation's aesthetics, even after the simulation is done. You might notice that after importing, the avatar's eyes lack a texture. To address this, we select both the pupils and cornea, and then we'll add the appropriate texture found in the folder generated when we save the FBX file. Uh, this folder contains all the necessary textures for our avatar. You can also change render time uh, type to silk or shiny to add gloss to the surface. With the eye texture fixed, we can also modify other elements for our avatar. For instance, let's change the color of the lips and nails. Now we go to render and press sync to see the result. You can also experiment with different light settings and adjust render image properties. Once you've customized your avatar and dress, we return to the animation editor. Here we add a camera track by clicking on Add Camera Track. There are multiple options available in Style3D library, so you can just pick one of them.
You can also customize the camera's position. Click on existing keyframe and select Override Camera Track. This changes the camera's perspective to your preference. With everything now set, we are ready to export the video. You'll notice an option to tick the transparent box. I'll go ahead and tick it because it gives me the flexibility to change the background later. However, if you've already prepared the scene in Style 3D, leave it unticked. Now we'll proceed to rendering. Click on Local Render select the desired safe location and start the rendering process. And that's all for now. I hope you found this tutorial helpful in understanding how to create and export animations from Dust Studio to Style 3D. If you have any questions, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming tutorials. Thank you for watching!